I don't think this is a good day for me as I'm like, uh, uh, you know. No, no, you look great. After you, sir. I want scavo. Chocolate is the play. It's so good, like, I'm very happy they opened this restaurant in London. <laughs> So today I'm here at Pavillon London. I've been to the one in Paris, you can see the previous video. Talking you about so the sparkling tea, really interesting is a blend of three different teas. So you have jasmine, white tea, and Darjeeling. And this produce is made in Denmark, so the Copenhagen. 0% alcohol, as you can see. It's slightly sweet, champagne style. I don't drink alcohol, but they give me this sparkling tea option. It really looks like champagne. It's combined with three types of tea. And it's really, really nice. <laughs> Take care. This is our um, lunch experience menu. Yeah. It's characterized by five light dishes mm -hmm. and of course speed of service. As, as the title suggests, we can be out in 55 minutes. Yeah. Two testing menus. Mayfair and Pavillon. Mayfair is the reduced one and the Pavillon the complete uh, concept. A la carte started hot and cold, creative vegetables which means soup, we have a hot soup, very good, salad, autumn salad and curry manoche which is one of the, the best. Of course the main consists in uh, meat and fish and some Italian touch as well. If Alena wants to give some uh, uh, roots with pasta and our signature dishes right here. Just not to mention that the Cordon Bleu is going to be for two people because it's a huge one. So it's a smooth tartlet uh, made with uh, uh, curry infused with carrots. You also have some uh, orange and uh, lemon gel finished with some uh, small flour. And here you have our sourdough bread made in house with our salted butter. I'm gonna prepare also some olive oil to finish here. Um, we have also we have also the pairings with the wine. Well taken care of, you know. I think this price in London, the price will not be really good. Our wine, madam, so Chateau Cabert from uh, Saint-Estep, Bordeaux Bank, so 2017. I would say here we are uh, a bit less on the fruit, but more uh, on some lovely note of uh, dark chocolate, or even like fruit coated with spice. We also have some notes of uh, leather, tobacco. Really love this wine, to be honest. It's not that age, it's like 2017, but still have this. Uh, Notes of, uh, I would say, uh, usually aged wine, you know, which is uh, leather, chocolate, and spices. So, really amazing with a uh, with, uh, lamb chop, as you're gonna have, or uh, even any meat can be uh, it's not overpowering. So, you know, really uh, delicate, I would say. After you, sir. Our Gaspacho <laughs> and to you the Gaspacho. We thank you very much, Giovanni. This is our focaccio with. Uh, okay, we got the Gaspacho with the celery sorbet in the middle yeah. and just parsley oil. Scallop carpaccio underneath our lovely bernoisette. Okay, brown butter mixed with smoked pie crow, the eggs on top with chive to finish the dish. They always start with some kind of crispy type of dish. It's very delicate. See? Like this. It's kind of 
rich taste for a startup, I quickly so basically when you find it, it just collapses in your mouth. Yeah, you're gonna find at the bottom our bacon marmalade and the bacon extraction, of course. Foam is mushroom duxel emulsion, poach deck, of course. On top, you will find again bacon, crispy bacon, and chives to finish. This one is Because they have the egg, the bacon, and the mushroom. So it's like, I think it's a very hearty dish. It's a perfect transition from the first starter to the main. I'm going to have... It's really, really like a hearty, but very happy. As you can understand, the watercress really is all the green around, yeah. mixed with the whipped cream. On top you got cheddar grated and some buckwheat sprinkled here and there. <laughs> this is my third dish. It's very beautiful, it's like all green. The smell of the smoked salt already. Ooh, it's very soft. So all the cheese together. So good. I don't know what it is, it's all the cheese plus continuous with the previous dish. Because there is some kind of like bacon taste as well in this dish. And then it's just so soft that everything. There's no single taste that's very like stand out, but like it's a total balance of taste. It's like a little bit salty and then. Just a little bit more red, maybe, for the next case. Yes, please. And your side, right? It's going very well with the lamb. And actually, it's going very well as well with this course. <laughs> Starting from yours, Madame, right. you go at the bottom, yeah, of course, our salmon cooked alla plancha. Yes. Genevieve sauce, which is um, a reduction of Burgundy red wine mixed with anchovies. The quenelle is celery puree. On top of the salmon, you'll find bone marrow roasted anchovies. Our lamb chops, mini bread. At the bottom, shizu kuli. And the ancho yadi, just the little one over there, the, the, the kenel. And I'll suggest you to have a little slice of lamb and a little piece of ancho yadi, okay. okay? Like the, you know, the wasabi for the sushi. Yeah. Less, right? Just a tiny bit. Okay. Some, uh, zucchini saute and fennels. So good. How is it? The flavor is great. How about the texture? Yeah, the texture is great. The outside is nice and crispy and you see it. Mm. And it goes so beautifully with the salmon. Salmon with some kind of sauce. Nice. And my friends have this lamb chop. I tried the lamb chop last time in Paris on the own, so I'm gonna try the salmon first. They have some bone marrow on the top of the salmon. Salmon is a very simple dish, but the way that they do it, it's like crispy and it's very juicy in the inside. I don't know how they, how they do that. And then maybe because of the bone marrow on top, it, it adds an extra layer of juice in the I'm gonna try the lamb chop and see how whether it's better than the one in Paris. Mm -hmm. January. Very happy they opened this restaurant in London. This is our roasted fig. At the bottom you find goat yogurt with fig uh, leaf oil. Then you got, of course, the roasted uh, fig. In between fig marmalade. The twill is actually an arlette cardamom. On top our curry, um, ice cream, and again fig leaf powder. Thank you. It's very rich. Roasted fig at the bottom. It's so interesting they have different type of flavors. You have the sweetness and then you have the ice, the ice cream. And then the crispy cardamom pastry crisp. I would highly recommend this place if you ever in London. It's just open. It's one of my favorite restaurants in Paris, also in London now. I recommend to also sit at the counter because you can see all the orchestra of the kitchen. How do they offer it? And you can talk to many people. Hi. Hello, hi! Compared to the one in Paris. It's not exactly the same menu. It's the same spirit, yeah. you know? So it's, uh, you know, a bistro vibe with uh, one Michelin star uh, 
fruit, you know. It's a bit different in terms of uh, architecture because it's a bit bigger and it's new. Uh, but we have the same spirit. Like, uh, in Paris, in Monaco. Exactly I, the same as the counter. Yeah. Yeah. What's your name? Benjamin. 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 Lydia, nice to meet you. Nice Enchanté. Meet you. Enchanté. 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 Oh, I love this restaurant so much. Chocolate is It's so good, like so rich. <laughs> it's crispy. Like outside and the inside is. Yeah, please come here. It's very nice. It's become my favorite restaurant in London.